Your MRI report tells you you have an L405 disc bulge with central protrusion, moderate spinal degenerative arthritis, and moderate spinal stenosis. What do you do? That's actually the results of an MRI report of one of my patients that came in with back pain and significant pain running down the right leg. So in this video, I wanna to explain to you the kind of things that we've done with corrective chiropractic care and chiropractic care to help improve this man's condition, not just his leg pain, but also his back pain and get him back to a normal, healthy life. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Salubro. I'm a chiropractor in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you relieve pain and correcting the spine without surgery so you can get back to living your best life again. And in this video, I'm not only gonna share with you a story of how we helped this man with his L405 disc bulge, confirmed on MRI, how we got him back to living a better life and relieve his pain, but also wanna share with you some of the techniques that we do in our office to help these types of chronic spinal conditions and pain conditions. As well, stay right to the end because I'm gonna give you some steps that you can do and follow to help guide you in the right direction as well. So this man comes into the office looking for help. He has back pain. It starts on the right side, and after several days, it starts going right down into his leg. And we go through the examination process and we start thinking about the differential diagnosis. It can be a number of different things, such as a joint irritation or inflammation in the joints, the facet joints of the spine. It could be a muscle spasm or a muscle strain. It could be maybe the joints of the pelvic region or sacrum, like a sacroiliac joint, or it can be a disc bulge or disc herniation. Clinically, one of the differential diagnoses was an L405 disc bulge because of the referral patterns of and the radiation pattern of that pain. It started in his lower back and it started to go into his leg, the calf area, and into the foot. Now, because of the unique work that we do in our office, we do corrective chiropractic care, we get a lot of referrals of patients with very serious spinal conditions, conditions that are debilitating and that may actually be heading towards surgery. So I truly believe that surgery can be avoided. See, most people want to avoid spinal surgery. This is a spine, I call it Mike the Spine. Why do I call it Mike the Spine? Well, when I was back in college, in chiropractic college, I had a full skeleton model, and I called that skeleton model Michael. Well, this is a portion of that skeletal model, so I call this Mike the Spine. So here's Mike the Spine. Most people want to avoid spinal surgery, and I truly believe spinal surgery should be left as a last option, last resort. It's, it's always available, it's always on the table, but what most people want is to get back to a normal life free of pain, live and move their life a lot better, and avoid surgery. So what we do is we offer non-surgical corrective methods through corrective chiropractic care. And one of the techniques is called chiropractic biophysics, which is one of the main techniques I use in my office. And we apply these techniques to help them improve their spine and get back to normal condition. Now, I didn't always do corrective care in my office. In fact, I started with this probably back in 2008, and how did I get involved with corrective care? I had a patient at the time that had a serious neck problem and, and neck disability and neck pain, and I looked at his x-ray and he had a reversal of his neck curve. That's a kyphosis, which is very, very serious, and had advanced degeneration. And with my knowledge base at the time, I did the best I could to help improve his mobility and help with his pain, but when I re-x-rayed him after several months of care, I noticed that his spinal alignment, right here's Mike the Spine again, his spinal alignment didn't actually correct. So I knew I was missing something, and that's when I started to visit different chiropractors that were doing corrective care. And I saw some of the research that they were showing to their patients, and what an actual spine out of alignment was doing was actually irritating and crushing the spinal cord, and especially at different stages of degeneration when they got worse and worse through the decades. So that's when I said to myself that I have to start learning corrective methods and correct techniques to avoid this from degenerating further, irritating the spinal cord and nervous system, and improve people's life. So I started taking courses in corrective care and especially chiropractic biophysics over the years, and now I'm certified in chiropractic biophysics. And since doing that, we've been seeing some amazing results with our patients, not just in relieving their pain, but also improving their spinal alignment. And I'll tell you why that's important in a moment, and as well, getting them back to a normal life. So corrective care, like chiropractic biophysics, is very unique and different in that it's a full spine assessment and correction protocol. It assesses all levels of spine from front 
and also from the side. And when it's out of position, out of alignment, we what we do is we correlate with posture as well, which is your physical body position and space. And then we apply corrective techniques and methods to improve posture, improve spinal alignment, and in doing so helps to improve the person's not just pain condition, but also their overall health status. Corrective chiropractic care has helped many, many people in our office improve and recover from chronic spinal conditions like disc bulges, like L405 disc bulge, or low back pain, or sciatica, leg pain, arm pain, numbness and tingling, all these things that many people experience on a regular daily basis and just build up over time. And at some point, if it's not taken care of, it can actually lead to a situation that requires surgery. Now, one thing I want you to remember is that an optimal spine equals optimal health. And why is that? I'll show you in this poster right here. Follow me right here. This is a poster of the nervous system, the autonomic nervous system. And on the inside over here, that's the brain. The brain branches down through it through the brainstem and the spinal cord, which is behind and inside the spinal column. So the spinal cord is inside the spinal column. So the hard bones of the spine protect the nervous system, the spinal cord. Why is that important? Is because the spinal cord then branches out to all these organ systems everywhere. So everything's related to your nervous system. Everything's controlled by your nervous system. All your body functions, all your healing abilities, because your body has an innate ability to heal. How your body recovers and repairs and adapts to stresses is controlled by the brain, spinal cord, and nervous system. So an optimal spine equals optimal health because if it's out of position, out of alignment, it irritates the nerves and doesn't get your body to function very well or heal very well. When we improve the alignment, we're taking irritation off those nerves. The brain's connecting a lot better to the rest of your organ systems and body tissues. And now your body's in a better ability to function, repair, and heal naturally, which it does normally. That's why I say an optimal spine is optimal health. An optimal spine does equal optimal health. And we know this, not just clinically with our patients, but it's been shown in research that bad alignment not only leads to degeneration, but poor health comes in the future. So you owe it to yourself to improve your spinal alignment because an optimal spine equals optimal health. The better alignment your spine is in, the better overall your health status is, your overall abilities and capabilities and functional activities, your activities of daily living, you're able to do more of the things you love to do. What that means for you is that you're now able to do more of the things you love to do. You're now able to live your best life, which is what we want for you. So I did this gentleman with the L405 disc bulge. We started to adjust and do corrections of his lower lumbar spine area especially the sacral region. We started working with his posture and giving him exercise to strengthen the lower back area. And for him, it was a very, very slow progress. In fact, he actually started to do other things too that weren't even working that well. He tried massage therapy, didn't work that well. He tried acupuncture, didn't work that well. Nothing wrong with those. They're great for a lot of different things, but they don't correct spinal alignment problems. He tried medications, and you may know this already, medications at best help to alleviate the pain when it comes to spinal conditions, maybe help alleviate the pain, take the edge off, but is it a permanent corrective solution? No, you stop taking medications, the pain comes back again. So it's only temporary. So they don't correct spinal alignment problems. What you need is a corrective method to improve the spinal alignment problem, take the irritation and pressure off those discs and nerves, and now the spine and the body is in a better position to actually do what it normally does, which is process and, and heal and function in its natural state. And in doing so, eventually, the irritation and pressure off those nerves come off. And that's what we did with this fellow. We adjusted him regularly, corrected his spinal alignment problems, and by the end of the fourth month of care, it was very regular, by the end of the fourth month of care, he began to have less leg pain. Okay, so centralization occurred. Less in the lower in the lower leg and then back up into the back. So pain was centralized into the lower back region, which was the source for him at L405 region of his back. More back pain and then eventually, what happened within a couple of weeks, came in last week and told me that he has no more back pain, zero back pain. Was he happy? Super happy. He was ecstatic. Why? Not only is he living better and functioning better and moving better and has no pain, can stop taking his medications, but what? He's no longer on the road to that surgical table and that surgical knife. He avoided surgery and get back to normal life again. So my vision for you, if you've been suffering with a chronic spinal condition, whether it's a disc bulge condition or arthritic degeneration of your spine or neck pain or back pain or leg pain, sciatica or arm pain or numbness and tingling, whatever it is, my vision is that you also improve your spinal condition, your alignment, your posture, that you live the life that you wanna live happier, healthier, with more action and more activity, better mobility, doing the things you love to do, whether it's at work, at home, or at play. 
That's my vision for you. Now, I wanna leave you with three things and three steps that you can do to help guide you in the right direction. Before I do that, be sure that you check out the other videos on my channel. I have many videos about exercise in the lower back for L405 disc bulge, exercise in the neck for C5, C6 disc bulge, exercises for sciatica, many tutorials and explanation videos to help guide you in the right direction. But in the meantime, I have three action steps for you. Number one, keep your back mobile, keep your back strong. How? By doing core exercises, stretching, and mobility exercises. And like I said, I have many of these videos that give these types of tips for these exercises on my channel. I'll post some of my most popular ones in the description below. Check that out. Number two, stay positive. All healing takes time, especially chronic spinal conditions that have been there for months and years. Now, your body does have a natural ability to heal, but sometimes it needs some type of support. So stay positive, stay on track, and get help when you need it. Number three, Look for a chiropractor or a corrective care chiropractor in your city that can help analyze your full spine, analyze your posture, correlate it with your clinical condition, and give you the best corrective protocol to help not just relieve pain, but improve your spine, improve your posture, and improve your life. So if you need help finding a corrective care chiropractor, I will do my best to help you. Just comment below, let me know what city you're in, and I'll direct you to our directory where you can actually look for a chiropractor in your city that does similar work that I do, which is corrective chiropractic care or chiropractic biophysics. And remember always, an optimal spine equals optimal health. Very important to remember that. And if you're looking for more stretches and exercise, I have this great video. Go right here, right now, to look at this video. It's on L405 Disc Bulge Exercises. It can help guide you along in some of those mobility, strengthening, and uh, stretching exercises for the lower back. Go right here. And if you like this content, be sure to subscribe below. Click on that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next new video. Now go watch that video right now.